Hello there, my ladies and gentle folks, and those in between, and some of those who are none of the. I am Sapphire Kennedy. Today, we're going to be talking about... <laughs> Yay! Christianity's history was formed a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Nah, I'm just kidding. It was 2048 years ago. XD! Okay, so to start off, who's the founder of this religion? Well, that would be... Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ was the founder of Christianity. He is the Alpha Wolf. So Jesus spread his wisdom and went through some, uh, <coughs> hard times. But now, it's time to get into the good stuff. Jesus Christ came to Roman in hopes of showing people the way of God. The Romans love Jesus. But, 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 a group of Romans said, Oh, uh, oh, well, what if this leads to an uprise? <gasps> You're right. Yeah, so what should we do about it? Hmm. <gasps> hey, I have an idea. Yes. Let's kill him, brilliant Jim. So Jesus was tried, beaten, and then finally crucified. And as if things couldn't get any worse, they legit gave away his possessions right in front of the man. You guys suck. But now, it's time for a plot twist. So, Mary, the mother of Jesus, went to visit her son's tomb. Upon entering the tomb, however... The tomb was emptied! He was alive! Jesus then came back to Roman and he met face to face with his killers. The Romans were ashamed of themselves. J jesus could. Please have mercy on us! We're sorry for killing you! Lol K. Yay! And everybody was happy! Now, another important founder of Christianity was somebody by the name of Saint Ball. Saint Paul. Saint Paul was originally known by the Saul of Tarsus. He eventually became Saint Paul and began visiting, sending letters, and spreading whimsy to Christians alongside Jesus. Paul also helped form the rules of Christianity, but he announced that Christians did not have to be Jews. As a result, the cult, uh, religion, the religion grew larger due to non-Jews joining, slowly making Christianity the largest religion in the world. Wow! Jesus eventually had to go, but his mark on Romans stayed behind, and Christianity began to morph on its own. We now practice religion, and Christianity's official place to worship Jesus. Jesus, which we call a church. The pastor, or the worship leader, reads from our religion's holy book. The Bible. This is the Bible. The Bible is our holy book, containing the history of Christianity. Some Bibles have our religious symbol, the cross, on the front cover. Christianity also has certain beliefs about God. A few of them include, We are monotheistic, meaning we only believe in one God. We also believe that Jesus is the Son of God. We also believe that God created the universe and that He knows all. You're a wizard, God. Finally, God is everywhere and He can see all. He sees you reading your fan fictions. I'm looking at you, Ella. We also have holidays or holy days to celebrate Christianity. A popular one, for example, is Christmas, where we give gifts, spend time with our family, and celebrate the birth of Jesus. <laughs> uh, I love Chrysler. Finally, let's go over some review questions. Some of you could possibly be wondering, but how can we be monotheistic if Paul is a god as well? I wonder the same thing as well. Turns out, he isn't a god. He's a saint of him. Aha! Scrub. Now, a question that has started many flame wars on the internet is, if somebody goes against the Bible, would it be a sin? Well, the answer to that is yes. Christianity was just beginning at the time, and forgiveness wasn't really much of an option. You pretty much only had one chance before it was a game over. Please don't hate me. Anyways, that's the video, or Christianity. I hope this video made you laugh. That's what I tried to do. I really hope you learned something, though, because that was the point of this whole video. This is a school assignment. Thanks for watching! Until next time, my sapphires.